to Pure Bant Podcast. In this podcast, we'll be talking about some of the gaming news that's cropped up recently, as well as having a general conversation about the gaming and YouTube community, including a couple of scandals. And then we'll have a nice little game of Fuck, Marry, Kill and Game Fights. The Fuck, Marry, Kill will be based around YouTubers. We'll have three YouTubers, five sets, and we'll have to decide whether we want to fuck them, marry them, or kill them. Right, should we get right into this, boys? Yeah. Why not? You sound so fucking dead, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, that thing attacked you. Wow. All right, all right, gaming news. <clears throat> right, go on. So, Infinite Warfare. We've all seen the trailer, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fucking trailer, man. 2.7 million dislikes. It's what it's on now. Easy. Only 434,000 likes. Whereas Battlefield 1, they're almost at 1.8 million likes. On versus how many dislikes? Uh, Thirty-two thousand. Fucking hell! So, <laughs> Battlefield have took oh, the, their trailer video and used it as a dildo to just fuck Activision. That's one way of putting it. Yeah. So in other words, Activision are fucked. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to be making as much money as they were. See, I don't know because they do have. The COD 4 remastered to go with it. So do you think that's going to be the thing that's going to, you know, push the sales? That, that's the only thing that's going to make the money because it's got COD 4 with it. And what are they doing, Tyler? Aren't they giving you like half the maps? Yeah, they're only giving you ten maps, and the other and the, the other ten they're not giving you. They're going to sell it in DLC. Like, so, come on, that's like they've just sold half a game with the game. So they've sold one and a half games, and then they're giving you a half a game in a DLC pack that you yeah. have to pay for. Yeah. So, you think they're going to leave like Shipment and all the other really iconic and the most fun maps from COD 4 for the DLC, just for a bit more money? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's all about money. They are a lot about money. They're very money centric, aren't they, Activision? Yeah, they, that yeah. is what Activision are, like as a base company, just money. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, and. um. Ali A uploaded a video oh, yeah, talking, uh, a yeah. month ago, saying <laughs> no, no, because because he did he did a thing for his audience. Like if if you if you're like happy to wait for COD, well if you if you want to play COD, or or if you're what or, or if you're gonna play Battlefield, he did a video and he got fifty eight thousand likes and a hundred and fifty eight thousand dislikes. <laughs> so if, I think even his audience wants to play Battlefield instead of COD now. Yeah, and you gotta think that's like. Allier's audience has got to be like in the range of. Yeah, he's, he's, he's he got the he got a Guinness World Record for the biggest COD channel, and and most of his audience want to play Battlefield now. Yeah, but just think about it, <laughs> and all of his audience are like twelve to fourteen sort of thing. <laughs> so you've got to think that they're just the ones that are seeing what the older people are doing and being like, yeah, we may as well just follow what they're doing, aren't, aren't we? So speaking of old, uh, Battlefield One has gone back to World War. I think it's World War One. If yeah, uh, yeah, World War One. Yeah, yeah. We the COD community has been asking, almost demanding for a World War One or a World War Two game for a long time. Just something based on one of the older wars. And do you think that Battlefield? Well, I forgot the company name for Battlefield. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's EA. No, I thought I, is it EA? Yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was like Dice or something. No. Uh, yeah, it's Dice in the A. Dice in the A, okay. So do you think Dice in the A saw all this high demand that we've had pretty much since like mid to end of Black Ops 2 when we were just a bit tired of the future? Mm. And they've decided, you know what, we're going to capitalise on this and we're going to make a futurist, um, we're going to make a World War 1 game. For me, to... for me, it was Ghost that made it a bit too much. Like, Ghost took the card franchise and just like shoved it in a can and then set a fire to it like they've they've not they just ruined the franchise altogether i think with ghost the only thing that brought it back slightly was uh, black ops um three yeah because it was an actual game with like an actual set of like base weapons where there's not any too many op weapons there's only one or two and you have to be like a high level to do it yeah. yeah, I do agree that Ghost was probably the worst instalment. It is probably the worst instalment in the COD franchise, whereas Black Ops 3 is going on the right track a bit. 
Advanced Warfare, who the fuck remembers Advanced Warfare? It was, it was Sledgehammer's <laughs> it was, first it was, game though. Who, who remembers it, the it first ever... It was the two ever, same guns. Who remembers the first ever COD though? Yeah, I'm not saying it was bad. It was good for a first solo attempt from Sledgehammer. Um, yeah. If they can build up from that, that would be great. But it was still the future, wasn't it? So people were really sick of that. Yeah, but the jumping was in, it was mental. At least like COD actually did boundaries of how high you could jump. Yeah, I'll, I'll give Tyler that. Um, Black Ops 3 did do boundaries of how high you can jump. <laughs> yeah, Black Ops and, 3. And it wasn't OP either. You just you could just jump out of way of bullets on that. And just yeah. go hide yeah, somewhere. But to be like quite honest, you can on Black Ops 3. I I jumped out of a lot. Yeah, of but it's, it's it's not. Bullets. But it's a bit harder though, isn't it? It's a little bit harder because like the fire rate on weapons is more like. It's it's a lot harder to move out of the way of a bullet, like it makes it more yeah. realistic, but at the same time keeps it arcade. And advanced warfare, after a while, it was only them two guns being used: the ASM one and the BAL. Mm. Mm. So as soon as they got the AK rip, that was the only thing they used, or if they got like a good variant of the ASM one. So, like, as far as guns go, uh, relating back to Battlefield One, with the World War One setting. We're going to be getting all of this new arsenal, including vehicles as well. Yeah. Vehicles used to be in World at War, right? Used yeah, you had, yeah, you had, had the tank. Tanks, you had, yeah, you had the odd tank on the multiplayer map. I think by far yeah. the the more dominant and better creators for Call of Duties is definitely um, Treyarch. Treyarch because they have zombies. Come on, zombies. Mm. Yeah, they're not perfect, but they're, they're the best. They're the best out of them. Yeah. Uh, but relating this back to Infinite Warfare and Battlefield yeah. 1, I still think Infinite Warfare will compete as far as sales go with Battlefield 1. Yeah, it's just because it's COD. That's that's all it needs. Yeah, it just needs that name. It just needs to be called Call of Duty, and it will say it. It will sell. Yeah, because it's, it's every year they bring one out, so it's just normal to go and get it. Mm. Because a lot of people saying, oh, I'm not going to get Black Ops 3, I'm not going to get Black Ops 3 because it's too far in the future again, and people got it. It's like, okay. <laughs> I got Black Ops 3 because I saw how good the reviews were for it. And if I see good reviews for a game, I'll buy it. Mm. Who knows, yeah. maybe Infinite Warfare will get really good reviews. It might be a great game, but I feel one might suck dick. <laughs> you never really yeah. know. As far as the trailers go, and as far as like the mm. reviews so far on it, it's, it's, not, it's not looking good for... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. This is a good question. Um, do you think it would have been better if Battlefield only went back to World War Two instead of going all the way back to World no, War One? No, then it opens up so they can go to like World War Two and like they can explore mm -hmm. different aspects of World War One because there was a lot more places in World War One than there were in World War Two because they used to they had like the Battle of mm -hmm. Verdun and yeah. imagine, imagine in Sorry, Battlefield. No. Yeah, imagine like the Battle of the Sop in Battle Yeah, I think that would just be mental because there was like, what was it, like six million deaths on the first day. Six million? Um, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, yeah, yeah it, was some, it was something around that. It was something mad. Uh, they, 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 they had to yeah, try and advance that. up that hill and they just got him yeah. down. It was it was the worst defeat in British Army history, wasn't it? That was because they were following the Salif and yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's that's a different topic. No. <laughs> all, all of that, all of that might come up in Battlefield One, though, and is yeah. that what we want? Yeah, well, I think be, I think if we actually dive into it? the historical aspect of it, then it'll actually. I think that puts games out there as being like more educational, then instead of just being this violent thing that Christians yeah. look down upon and religious people hate. <laughs> oh yeah, there's always yeah. going to be backlash. There's always going to be those. Well, let, yeah. let's just hope it's better than Verdun, though. Verdun, I just can't play that game. I would stand up and just die instantly. I don't even know what's going yeah, on. I don't, about. I don't think. So that World War, that's World War One game. They brought that's, out I, Steam I suppose ago. that's how memorable it is, and that's how good it was. If we don't even, yeah. Know it. But yeah, right now people are calling Battlefield One the card killer. Mm, maybe not the card killer. No, I think they've, I think, I think they've killed themselves really. Like yeah, they, they, just, <laughs> they just committed suicide <laughs> as a franchise. <laughs> 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 Call of Duty, mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember, remember Titanfall? 
Yeah. Not really. Neither do I. No, neither do I. I never played it because I didn't have an Xbox, but yeah, I know it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... Within, like, oh. a couple of months, on Twitch, that game was underneath COD Ghosts. COD Ghosts. And that was advertised as the COD Killer. But, <laughs> man, that fucked up so bad. Well, if you give someone that much hype, then it's gonna be fucked, isn't it? Yeah. I think maybe if they did it multi-platform, that would have been a bit better. But I don't think it would have killed but... COD like they were saying. No, it would have been a good competitor. It might have been the next Battlefield, but no. I don't know. Not Battlefield's a good franchise. No. It is a good franchise, yeah. yeah. Well, that, if this, uh, we'll forget fucking Hardline. What was that? <laughs> you know, that was the oh, best was that DLC and, ever. Cops and Robbers one that was that was basically more like DLC than an actual full-on game. You had to pay for like sixty quid. What was this on? Like uh, it was on all consoles. No, I said, was it like COD? Oh, Battlefield. No, it's Battlefield. There's another Battlefield. Battlefield. I'd, I'd, Battlefield I'd never really yeah. heard of it to be fair. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. It was it was a pathetic excuse for a game. To be honest, if, if I've not heard of it, it's, it's pretty much like why why would you? When on it? when on the Xbox One, you can only run it at 720p, even though it's like a brand new game. But at, at least you got a PS4, you're running it at 900p. So, but. If you got if you got it on last gen, then it was just it was a potato. <laughs> you were a potato. Nine hundred p is such a weird number. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. what it's the highest resolution the PlayStation goes to. Not like ten eighty p or anything. Well, they're bringing out the well they're bringing out the new one soon, aren't they? They're bringing out the Xbox. Is it is it is it Xbox Two? I don't, I don't I don't I forgot what name they're having for that, but then. And then for they're bringing out the PlayStation 4.5 that's gonna have 4K graphics. Yeah, but imagine 4K graphics on. Would you rather play? Right, say you were a really hardcore gamer. Yeah. And you tried to play so many games, and it was your lifestyle. Say you were a fucking YouTuber or something, and you got paid for playing games. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which one would you rather play in your PlayStation 4.5 with amazing 4K graphics on your fucking? LG curved screen TV. I don't know why you'd have a curved screen, but okay. Would you yeah, rather play? Now. Yeah. Would you rather play Battlefield One or COD Infinite Warfare? Battlefield One, because the graphics. Definitely insane, Battlefield One, just because of the way the trailer looks, and the trailer looks like I would have fun on it, whereas the mm. card trailer just looks like I'd get really angry at it. Battlefield yeah. graphics yeah. have been good for a while, you know, because because they, they take more care in it. Cause they don't they don't have to bring it out like. In every year, so they can like take their time with it. Yeah, but now, now different cards have three years. Each each one has a three years to develop the game now, so you should yeah. be getting better games. They should be. They they should try and get be. better gameplay, don't they? Though, because it's if they have bad gameplay, then the game's just terrible. But graphics, they can pro, they can sort of like. Yeah, I would, I would I would rather bit. I would rather have better gameplay than better graphics. I yeah. think everyone would. Yeah. But they're clearly not doing something right. Here's the thing. Would would you rather spend uh like like say another seven hundred quid um on a PlayStation four point five or would you just rather spend the money on getting a four K PC rig? I'd just get a four K PC rig. How much? Five hundred quid? Rig, yeah. It's like 700 or something that they're out. Oh, Fucking what? 700, I could like legit make my computer like two times better. Just buy a new graphics card and a new CPU, that's it. That's Maybe insane. a little bit more RAM. I'll have a look now, I'll have a look at the price now. Nice. Um, so... Is that the PS4 Neo? Yeah. The Xbox that One's bringing one out, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're all trying to do everything. Oh, um, that's another thing. Now that card has gone to um, primarily PS4, mm -hmm. that, that it happened a while ago, didn't it? Do you think that more Battlefield players will be on the Xbox? I don't know. I think a lot more Battlefield players will start to go to PC though, because yeah, but Battlefield's always been big on PC because of like the server making and stuff. Yeah, yeah I think just in general, PCs. Uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to say PC are better. They're just they're, they can handle it better. I think they're not, it, they're not better in all ways, but they can handle stuff a lot more. 
PCs, they're not they're not restricted. PCs are not restricted. You can literally upgrade quite for a PC every month that are better than the last yeah. one. Yeah, you don't have to pay for online because like no one owns PC gaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Although Valve are very dominant. Nobody owns PC gaming. No, Valve have made some yeah. of the best PC gaming. It doesn't mean that they are they own and, PC gaming. And and like they own a, they own like a gaming like website you can buy games on. Don't they own Steam? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, didn't, Valve didn't are from that? Steam, like, that's how they Valve originated. Because Steam needed to make a bit more money, I think. No, I think that was it. Or something. It was Gabe, anyway. Lord Gaben. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I do Gabe. Uh, oh, I want to see this. Does Valve own Steam? So does anybody have final comments on the COD Infinite Warfare versus Battlefield 1? Yeah, we're just, we're, we're just gonna have to see how it stuff goes, yeah. we'll just wait it out. I think if, if we wait, we might be wrong about battle, uh, about Call of Duty and Battlefield, it might like turn around and go like the opposite for us, but on the other hand it could go the way everyone expects it to go. Yeah. But right now, I mean the numbers don't lie, 1.7 million likes and 2.7 million dislikes, that's... It'll, it'll still get sales. Even the people that have disliked it on YouTube will probably have pre-ordered it. Mm. If it's out for pre-order yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, because a lot of people are getting it just for COD 4. So, yeah, they're going to make sales. Mm. COD 4 sales are going to be packed. But then, Do you know a lot of people really saying... played COD 4? Like, yeah, a lot of people have been saying, wouldn't, wouldn't you rather, like, Get a PC or something, and, like just play COD 4 on there. Yeah, there's less, there's less. I think you wouldn't be as likely to join an XP lobby because on PC everyone's more respectful about what everyone wants to do, not just forcing yeah. people into XP well, lobbies. Well, well, they do have XP lobbies you can go into, but you have a choice there. You don't get put straight into one because you, can you, you didn't have. Yeah, on, on PC on COD 4, you didn't have like you find the match, then click on the game mode, and it searches for you. It just it just brought up a server list, and you had to yeah, find the game mode and World whatever War. you wanted. Yeah. But then Modern Warfare 2, they changed that. So then you got you just searched for it instead. Yeah. So I just I just say we have to wait out and see what happens. All right. Any more comments? No, we're down. Nah, I'm on no, we're good. Okay. Yep. Let's move on to the next topic. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yay. Uh, always updating, you know, it's always getting better. Apparently, it's either this month or next month. Um, it'll be this month now, will it? It's the 2nd of June. Yes, yeah. so yeah, it will be this month. There's going to be another update. So, I want to ask you, what is GTA 5 missing? What needs to be in this update? Because it is a very packed game, there are loads of things to do. I mean, we can walk on the ads. Um, maybe you can do what sort of like I know it sounds weird but if you think about it the way I'm thinking about it it sounds right if they do what Skyrim did and just add like a little like map that you can like Skyrim add on two DLCs you could go to d two different places and like one was Dawn Guard and one was Morrowind I think it was oh, yeah, from the Dragon yeah and one was from the Dawn Guard DLC yeah. so you're saying like a, are you saying like a new map or like an add-on map not like too big of a map, just like a small yeah, map yeah, where you can go and do mean. missions. So like, uh, and like where there's so new say, houses and things available. So you remember San Andreas? Remember you had all the three different places you could go to? Yeah. You had like Los, yeah. Los Venturas and that. Um, like, like she's trying to say that but like separated. So like one area is like GTA 5's map now and then yeah, like, say you like, could have like another place where it has another map. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that working. Yeah, that would be like everyone's dream, but then again, there's only so much data they can handle. Yeah, but I'd say that'd probably be paid DLC at the end of the day because if they're making a new map, then that's gonna cost a bit, isn't it? Yeah. If they're gonna, and then if they're gonna give it out as free DLC. Then... Yeah, I don't think it'd be a free no. DLC. No, not oh. nothing like that. I don't think so. Do you think they could get away with that? Do you think that people would shame them for bringing out, you know, a microtransaction? There is microtransactions in the game. Yeah. But something as big as a map that people have been wanting and demanding, and they say, okay, yeah, we'll give it to you, but you have to pay. Well, I guess it would be pissed. Well, I guess it would. It would get a bit. Um, I, I say you won't. You won't be able to play online because imagine, like, say, oh, you, you, like, someone had a map, but then you didn't have the maps, then you could never go into a lobby with them ever yeah, again. Yeah, it's like because, hard, isn't it? Yeah. But then, like, wouldn't, wouldn't I just make the 
GTA scene die till like the next one. See, that's what you got to think about. Like, there's, there's upsides to it, but then there's downsides to it, isn't there? Yeah. There's either there's Probably. either there's either put put a lot of money into it, but like not make a profit from it. Well, you might make a profit because people buying the game again, but then. But but you're still keeping your fan base, or then bring it out as like paid DLC, and then if someone doesn't pay for it, and then they can't really play the game as freely anymore, then they might stop playing. So it's just like a a risk factor, isn't it? Yeah. That's I think that's what games should be instead of just like playing it safe, like how to do it. Well, they have, well they have to pay the bills, don't they? So it's whatever they want to do, isn't it? Do you think they should add anything in the title? Say they should add, um, you know when you're in races and you have the GTA mode on mm -hmm. and you like you could have the power-ups and shoot and stuff I say they should mm -hmm. have a game mode like called like arcade or something where you only had power-ups and you couldn't use like you like you oh, mini use your like your mines and stuff So you had the power-ups but it's not in GTA mode? Yeah it's, like, So you can't uh, use just the like buttons a, to like pop people's anyone, tires? Yeah does anyone oh. play that game? Like, like they used to make a lot of these. Like, you'd be like a little RC car on like a table or something, and you used to get the power ups and stuff. Uh, they just, I think. Yeah, Mighty Machines or something. Micro Machines, it was called. Something. Quite old game. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, some, something like that. Yeah. That actually be really good because it would attract a lot of new people into making, you know, that level. Design. Yeah. Because yeah, we all have our own map creators and things. Where people people probably wanted to have something like that for a long time, so they can make specific maps. Yeah. Um, so they can play other maps in that game mode. So I'm surprised that Rockstar haven't done that yet. I mean, mm. surely it wouldn't be that hard. And also, yeah, you're uh, saying that now, that but then of... you think if you were a game developer, how hard do you reckon that'd be? Yeah. Mm. If you're a if a, if it was a single game developer doing it, yeah, well, they have a brilliant team. Yeah, but you just think, yeah. what what could their A team actually be working on now? They could be working on a new game that's not going to be released for another seven years. Yeah. You never know yeah, what gaming companies. Oh, I heard something actually. It was like a, I heard it a month ago. They had just finished the map design for GTA 6, and they were soon going to be starting to work on missions. Fucking hell. Yeah. Mm. And <laughs> also another crazy. thing that they could add. You know, on the adversary modes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say they should add more than just like, because they've added a lot of cross the lines. Cross the lines, yeah. Yeah, so like, like they're all the same but just different styles. Mm. I, f I think they need to add like more diversity like, game modes, yeah. Uh, they've been like, they've been trying to add like new adversary modes. Well, they had that like, they had that like. beast thing that was all right for a bit. Beast versus slasher. Yeah. But yeah. slash like slasher was a good thing while it lasted. Slasher is good. Yeah. Thing. And then uh, also that was like sumo and stuff we play. Sumo is is really fun when you have a, a full team with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know what you mean, but to be fair, you can't fault them. There's only so much that they can do, and coming up with new game modes is something they probably do. That is a trial and error situation. New game modes. It is. Because you can't just spawn a new game mode that everyone's gonna love without some people yeah. hating it. Yeah. yeah, everyone's probably got ideas. You know, in Rockstar, they've probably got an idea for a new game mode, but there's only so many. There's only so many people's ideas they can actually try. Yeah. And then even less that will actually get onto the GTA scene. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, obviously, more game modes is very, very good. Yep. So has anybody got anything else? No, I don't think there's nah. much you can nah. add to GTA. I, well, I, I, that's where I, my problem is. I can't really think of many things. Of course, they were going to add like you know the the gun skins and little aesthetics, cars, things like that. But nothing of big importance I can think of. Yeah. Oh. So should we move on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually a little bit stuck on what this one means. But it grabbed my attention, so we're going to talk about it. Mojang, we all know who Mojang is, yeah. yep. says no more commercialization in Minecraft. Oh yeah, this one I saw last night actually. Um, mm -hmm. 
basically what Mo Yang, Mo Yang have said is that all the commercialization and every everything like that is happening in Minecraft to do with like you know uh, advertising mm -hmm. they're banning it completely so there's so, no advertising wait. allowed anymore in Minecraft wait so do you mean like no so it's me like in Minecraft as in the actual yeah, game. Yeah, as in in the game. So say a small business wanted to create their massive Minecraft world, its own server, um, they can't advertise. If you like this server, check out our business. Yeah, you can't do that. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. I, I can understand where they're coming from though. Yeah, I can understand that too. We do a lot of it in business studies and that. Mm. It's a... Um, it must be quite annoying having a game that has such potential and people are just using it. People are just it's people aren't using it to play the game like it was intended well, for. People are using it for money. Like you mm. see a lot on like the Mindplex server and stuff. People go in and they just spam their link to their server on like yeah. big, like mainstream servers on mm. there. Or the link to their fucking YouTube channel or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think YouTube that channels are even allowed to do any advertising anymore. No, th mad. that isn't a place to do it because you're you, you're using someone else's game, so you can get like like advertisement. Using subs. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um, a time ages ago when PewDiePie had to turn off his comments because people were just advertising yeah. their own channel in every single video. Yeah. And I think that's why some people just get sick of just. Like you see a lot of it in videos where people are like, oh, uh, can you please like my comment and stuff? It's like. Like I can see that, like that. That's not a problem. But then, why, why? What does it mean? What are they getting from that? Why? It's so like just the, then the, it exactly. goes into like the top comments, and then the YouTube is more likely to see it. Yeah, and then probably like, click on his channel, and be like, oh, this guy's alright. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. Obviously, you go to the biggest channel on YouTube. There's going to be quite a few people who are going to see your comment, and they'll think, oh, if I can get one or two people who see it, they can come onto my channel, subscribe, then that'll be worth it. And yeah. they do that every single day. And it's just fucking... Now it's... It goes... It's mad how you see something like YouTube and one channel having the same problem as Nojang with a game as big as Minecraft. Yeah, I yeah. think I think that's just a universal problem. It's anywhere you go, anywhere you see anything, there's going to be advertising. Like you mm -hmm. go onto a web, you go onto YouTube, and the way that YouTubers make money is through ads. Yeah, it's true. They monetize the videos. Uh, but yeah, but that. that that's acceptable though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I suppose if you had put a lot of effort, like Vanos, Vanos puts a lot of effort into his videos. You can just tell because they are really, really well made and well edited. Yeah, I think they're funny as well. And yeah, they are I funny. I think PewDiePie makes good videos as well, though, just because some of his videos are, like, actual normal playthroughs, but then, like, the first time he played Buggy Man, I think that was the first time in ages that I actually laughed at a PewDiePie video, and then he started doing videos like that again. And mm. I think when YouTubers go back to what they used to be, I think... Yeah. But I think they need to change first for then people to see what the difference is in YouTubers going back to what they used to be, sort of thing. Yeah. Because everyone needs to make but, mistakes for other people to see, like, wow, we really should have just, like, we shouldn't have took it for granted when he was doing this and all this. Yeah. Do you think that that could link somehow with this whole banning advertisement and Minecraft thing? How these people who were advertising all their shit in Minecraft are now realizing, oh my god, we can't do this anymore. We're gonna lose a lot of people. Well, for this. yeah. If they paid, if if they had like, yeah, if, if they paid pay for, for like a license, yeah. for an av advertisement license or something like that, and that'll be fine because then you're paying, like you're you're paying a certain amount to Mojang, so then you can get a little bit more back people off the yeah. That's that, that's enough, just that's nice. just business that. But then yeah. you look at what everyone's actually doing, and it's just free commercialization. Yeah. Yeah. So I suppose we we unanimously agree with what Mojang has done. I agree. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Just has to be yep. done, isn't it? It's a necessary evil. Right. Yeah, we've got any final comments or yeah, shall we right. move on? No. Yeah. I am I'm, I'm alright. 
Sounds good. You can move on. Okay. This one might be a little bit quick. Uh, Overwatch and Battleborn. See, I've only read a bit up on Battleborn, and that's just like the basics. And that's mm. just that it's sort of like. It, it seems like it's just there for while we wait for Borderlands. Yeah, that's what everyone's like saying on the trailers. Screw this, we just want Borderlands 3. Yeah, well, they can't just it's... make Borderlands 3 by pulling it out of their arse, can they? They need time. Yeah, yeah. Games, though. yeah, I mean, I trust 2K games with the games they make, because they do do some yeah, good Yeah, it's games. like I trust Bethesda, because Bethesda have made some of the best games yeah. ever. Oh, Wolfenstein, yeah. Dishonored, Skyrim, Fallout. Like, some of the most yeah, famous they, games. They, they turned game. Fallout around because Fallout 3 was going to be um, like like a bird's eye view game, like Fallout 1 and 2 was in tactics. But then because Bethesda brought out Fallout, they made it third, like first and third person. So it changed. Because Fallout, Fallout might, mm. might not be what it's like today if they didn't buy it. Yeah. I think what it is is that. Bethesda see what people want and actually mould the games to it, but still keep what yeah. they want in it. Then getting back onto the Overwatch and Battleborn thing, like I've I've read up a bit of Overwatch and I've watched a few like gameplay videos of it. It it just seems like um an up an up to date TF2 really, because you have the see, like, you have you have all TF2. the classes you can choose from and stuff, and then you have like the different game modes like you have to carry you have to like escort a payload to the end of the map. Or something. And the other, the other team has to try and stop them. Mm. Mm. Oh, so you say you never played Team Fortress yeah. 2? Oh, damn, I, I could have sworn we played together. Uh, no, we played Portal oh, Yeah. That's it, yeah, Portal 2. Sorry, bit of track there. So, Overwatch, you're right, it does look like an up to date version of Team Fortress 2. But what it's got with it is. Blizzard. It's yeah, got that name. Blizzard or Blizzard are that, a good company. That's literally. Or anything needs. Well, I suppose it's Activision Blizzard now because they well, they joined, haven't they? Yeah, that's just because both oh. of them are money hungry. Yeah, yeah, they are some money hungry bastards. I mean, the fucking Kung Fu Panda DLC in World of Warcraft. <laughs> that's they no. literally just took <laughs> Kung Fu Panda, added graphics, and like genitalia. That's yeah. all they did. Well, World of Warcraft has been around for ages. When when did it first come out? Yeah, night in the nineties. Ooh. You know what? I, I genuinely don't have a clue. Play, yeah. World of Warcraft. You know, World of Warcraft is like the, people talk about condoms and stuff. World of Warcraft is the ultimate fucking. Oh my god, my dog is fucking barking like mad. World of Warcraft released in 2004. Like sorry, yeah, sorry, mate. Sorry. Um, <laughs> fucking dogs. 2004, so that's it is one of the biggest games. Molly, uh, what the Warcraft is, you know, it's one of those iconic games that everybody's heard of, even if nobody, uh, even if everybody hasn't played it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want you to hear me shouting. So, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's alright. So, do you think that the Blizzard can pretty much do whatever the fuck they want? If they want to rip off TF2 and just update it a little bit, you know, sprinkle a little bit of sci-fi in well, there. That's what they'll do. They, 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 didn't really, yeah. they didn't really steal TF2. They just made the, the, a game similar to their to the genre. Like what? What? What genre would you say TF2 and Overwatch is? <laughs> I'd say it's probably like because it is, it is uh, a competitive game. Team Fortress 2 is defined as a first person shooter. Yeah, really? It's more yep. like team based, like. Man. I don't know. I would say. Yeah, no, no, I guess I would say first person shooter. And so is Overwatch. Overwatch it's like, it's is kind of like, a, a, it's kind of like a battle arena sort of thing, isn't it? Like, Smite. Smite, Smite's a MOBA, but. Because of the free lane yeah. stuff, but. Yeah, Smite's good. I, I, I actually don't mind Smite. <coughs> I just don't have it downloaded really at the moment. Yeah. yeah, Battleborn is interesting. It's also a first person shooter. Yeah. So, as far as Overwatch versus yeah. Battleborn, I'm looking at both of the trailers right now. And 
I can't help but notice some similarities between them. That's exactly like Battlefield and COD, though. They're, they're, they're similar. They're just... In, and in some ways, they're dramatically different. Yeah. Like, the well, dynamics on Battlefield are completely different. So you, know, you don't know until you play the games what the difference is. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's fair to say that Overwatch is just towering over Battle Royale. I've not really looked like, at the sales, really. Uh, well, it's not really just in terms of sales. I mean, I cannot go anywhere on YouTube without seeing a fucking recommended video for Overwatch. Yeah, I could... Something to do Syndicate's with even started uploading on his main channel just for Overwatch. Exactly. And it's how long was the last upload? Everywhere. I mean, like, I get that he's vlogging, but he doesn't upload on his main <laughs> channel. Hmm. Mm hmm But, fucking... You see, like, every big YouTuber supporting this. Whereas Battleborn is just kind of being left in the dark. I think if more people played Battleborn, it'd just sort of get the same reviews. And I think it's just that mm. fact that everyone thinks it's so alike, so what's the point in getting that other one as well? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I, I, there's not really too much to say about this, is there? No. Other than what we've just said, so... Are we okay to move yeah, on? I'm fine. Or does anybody have anything... Okay. Right. Uh, looking at time right now, yeah, we're pretty good. So, let's talk a little bit about the YouTube community. Uh, particularly, let's talk about some of the scandals that just seem to be happening a lot more recently. I'm not sure whether it's just because people are generally, you know, point lightly, getting a bit more shitty on YouTube, or whether people are just blowing things way out of proportion. I think it's people blowing things way out of proportion with a mix, a little bit of a mix of people becoming more shitty. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very mob very mentality now. It's like someone someone says something about a YouTuber in the video. It's like, oh, guys, let's go and fucking kill him. Yeah. Let's comment on his video. Kill yourself. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that reminds me, beef just between YouTubers just gets way out of hand. Like, it's even not even it's... beef, oh my god, it's not beef, yeah, exactly. it is literally just a disagreement, and then people are like, oh my god, let's go and fucking tell him to hang himself. Perfect example, PewDiePie and KSI. They had a purely verbal disagreement about the state of drama on YouTube, which is completely fine. These are two people... Who just didn't agree on something. Grown men over Everybody 18 years went, old. Except everyone went ape shit. Everyone fucking blew the fuck up and saw it as the fucking apocalypse. And the way they, the way that both of their fans reacted, particularly PewDiePie's, because he has a much larger fan base. And I think that probably... KSI's fan base take jokes a lot easier because KSI is <laughs> oh, a yeah. very, yeah. very controversial person when it comes yeah, to the jokes YouTube. that he makes. Yeah. He doesn't give a fuck about the jokes he makes, which is a very good Whereas thing. Whereas PewDiePie's got like a younger audience, so then they take things more seriously yeah. to do with YouTube. Yeah. That's probably because they have different humour. You know, PewDiePie's humour mainly comes from his his editing, Yeah, I would say. I think his editing is meant his personality. to be honest. Whereas, yeah, whereas KSI is just his jokes are just fucking brutal. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's literally what everyone's saying now, isn't it? You've changed. Yeah. You've changed. You're not the same yeah. anymore. Yeah, he did a video on that. Like an entire video on old versus new feud by. Yeah, but it, uh, it's not up to us whether he wants to change or not, is it? It's up to him. Mm -hmm. And that's something... Do you think that's something people are forgetting nowadays? I think people forget that YouTubers are people as well. Mm, yeah. You know, that's following from that... Is a perfect example of unfortunately recently prank versus prank. Jesse and Gina, they broke yeah. up. Yeah. Those, they are just people. And in a way, YouTube has kind of destroyed their relationship in a sense. Do you think that's true? Yeah, you just gotta think though. If they're treating someone that served their country in the army like that, how would you treat someone that's. Like, come was on. Was he in the army or was he in the navy? He was the army. Or
Mm. Yeah, but still, he served the country, so he should be he should be more respectful of what he wants to do as a person. Not saying that you shouldn't respect other YouTubers, it's just that, come on, he served your country. If you're going to have respect for anyone, have respect for him. He... Looking at this, he was in the military. Which is just like, the, that's yeah. what the combined forces are called. Mm. Yeah, so he definitely, yeah, I mean... The thing is with that, he was vlogging every single day, wasn't he? He was doing daily vlogs. Yeah, but I suppose that's a lot less of, like, people not seeing him as a YouTuber and a lot more of him wanting the best content for these viewers. Instead of, like, smaller, shittier things. Has he? Which is a very good thing, but I, I would be really frustrated if I was in this position where I had something like that at my fingertips and people just wanted me to vlog me going to fucking Starbucks. I don't, I wouldn't go to Starbucks, but you know. No, it's just, it's just <laughs> the example. <right? laughs> fucking fuck Starbucks. So, so with the YouTube community linking it back, is it fucked? Yes. Absolutely 100% fucked. If I had to describe YouTube, the YouTube and gaming community, at this moment in time, I would say, fucked. Like, that's, that's, that's in a sentence. Yeah. I would say the worst thing about the gaming community right now is fucking Minecraft YouTube. Mine's the hostility between people. Yeah. Hostility between people, yeah. Because it's, well, it's literally, you get balance. killed in a game of CSGO and all you hear is like, I have some Russian calling you a, a, a bitch or something in Russian, like Sukobliet. Or like some Or some Swedish fucking Swedish person telepathically calling you a bitch. Like you just know he's calling you a bitch, or like an English or an American person going, Fucking kill yourself, you're a dick, bro. Like, if you tell me to kill myself, don't call me bro. <laughs> yeah, we're not the best fucking Oh my god, it, it fucking pisses me off just thinking about it. Just how shit this community is. I uh, think it was better when online gaming wasn't as big a thing. Yeah, definitely. Because everyone and their mother's doing online gaming now. My nan plays World of Warcraft and she's 19. <laughs> no, it's not going to sort itself out. Someone needs to do something or... Like, it's just gonna go to shit, like. No. No, there's like, there's 50% of people that are fine with it and just like sort of get on with, if they, if they get killed, it's like, oh, I got killed, let's just carry on with the game. Not, mm. I'm gonna hound out and fucking tell this guy to hang himself from a roof and drink bleach. You know what people who are just calm about it are called? People who have lives. Mm -hmm. I wondered why you weren't calm when you got killed on day four. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we, uh, with that, should we move on? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now we're done with all the depressing shit. Let's move on to something fun. You ready? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. YouTubers fuck Mary Kill. We got a list. We got. A Five sets of three people, but marry, kill for all of us. Yeah. All right. Um, first set, you like this one? I Justine. Yeah. SS Sniper Wolf. Mm. Yep. And Vinos Gaming. Oh. Okay. Who's gonna go first? I'll, I'll probably. Just when when you think you figured out your three, go just say. All right. Um, 
I'd know if I know. Fuck, I just did and kill SS Deadpool. Tyler, you're trying to tell us. Okay, dope. Well, Vanos is just good lad. He's got pure muscle, hasn't he? Whoa, Tyler! You're not helping your case here. Nah. Just sound it. I can't be doing with SS Deadpool. No, I'd, I'd probably fuck Sniper Wolf. I don't know if I could get bring myself to kill Vanos, because I like his videos, but I'm, I'd, I'd probably have to kill Vanos and just like... But the one thing that, that annoys me about Iverstine is she cannot cook at all. Like, she can't bake or anything. Really? Yeah, that's all right, though, because you, you do it. Really? You do it, Josh. <laughs> yeah, but it pisses me off. She, she tried making burgers and literally got mints in a packet and then just, like... Threw the mint into a fucking <laughs> pan, like didn't, like didn't break it up and put it into burger patties. Just fucking <laughs> threw it in the pan. Packaging included as Josh, well. <laughs> Josh is a very progressive dude, isn't he? As a like I just seen, she can't fucking cook. But I probably have to marry her. <laughs> she's less annoying than that. She is fucking sound. Yeah. Yeah, I would have to agree with Tyler there. I would marry Vanos. I, I would sound, isn't he? Yeah, he's just fucking sound. <laughs> he's just too yeah. fucking sound. You can't ignore him. But I, I couldn't stand Sniper Wolf. After yeah. That. Yeah, but it's like um, two hours, of, like no, like two what? two ish hours at most. Well, it'd be thirty seconds for me. Oh. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Next three, we've we uh, got Syndicate. Next three! <laughs> Syndicate, KSI, and Pointless Blog. I'd probably marry Syndicate. Um, yeah. Just because yeah. he goes yeah, exploring think... and you could go with him. Like, yeah. I think we all agree we would marry Syndicate. He's just too fucking. He's so sad. And he's getting that new F type. Ooh. Um, I'd probably I kill would... Pointless Blog because he's just fucking fake as shit. Like, mm, the way yeah. he acts, no person acts that way. Well, he does. <laughs> uh, you see, I hate KSI's music. Yeah, but I, I, I could get I over that. Him, cause no. I would change him. <laughs> I could get over that. I'd just, like, burn every copy of Keep Up in the house. Well, well, um, Smoke and Mirrors is quite a good song. Well, when, he, when he wasn't rapping, when the other guy was singing. But Luna C. Hey, JME's uh, part in um, What's It. Lamborghini. No, uh, that's the money. Um, um, Kilimanjaro. No sleep. Yeah, Kilimanjaro. Oh. Mm. He's actually um, pretty good. Jamie's part no. in that. I, I rate. Well, no sleep. No KSI sleep. KSI has got good. progressively better though, if you think about it. Yeah. No sleep was good because it had like sway mm. in that. And sway is like a big artist, but then KSI just doesn't rap. He shouts. Yeah, but he stopped that. Now, <laughs> hasn't he? he sort of stopped yeah. that. He sort. He's going into actually rapping now. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it. I don't think it'll ever take off his music career. But I wouldn't kill him because of it. I would fuck him and I would kill Pointless Blog and marry him. Yeah, I've, I've got so, good. Yeah. yeah, me and you are on the same page. Tyler. Um. Yeah. So I, I would. I would marry Syndicate. Mhm. Mm That's just without a doubt. Fuck KSI and kill Pointless Blog. Okay, we're all on the same page. Yeah. Uh, fucking Pointless Blog, mate. Alpha, you're dead. All right. Next three. Uh, an all female one, so this should be a little bit easier. You got Jenna Marbles, yeah. who's like the queen of YouTube, yep. Marzia, and Superwoman. Yeah. I'd probably have to kill Marzia because of her voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I would. Oh, fuck, this is actually quite difficult for me. I know it's like proper, but I'd, I'd probably fuck Superwoman and marry Jenna Marbles because she's fucking funny as shit, Jenna Marbles. I'd probably kill myself, just laughing at her. I would... I would kill Superwoman. Uh. Uh, <laughs> I feel horrible for saying that, she's so fucking cool. <laughs> but I would kill her. Um, I would fuck... Kill yourself. I'd fuck Marcia and the Barry Jenner Marvel. Um, I'd probably go... Kill Marcia. Fuck Jenna Marbles and marry Superwoman. Damn, so we all ended up with different yeah, ones. Yeah, finally. I don't, think, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's happened, boys. Alright, so, next one. Yeah, sure. All right. oh, that was good, that was good, yeah. Alright, here we have Casper Lee, oh. Comedy Short Scaler, yeah. and Grace Helbig. 
I probably have to kill Comedy Shorts Gamer. One second, who is Grace? Grace Elby, she's the YouTuber who got her own TV show. She's done that out. <laughs> okay, Google it. <laughs> no, I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she's so me and you will go, Josh. Ah, she's yeah, alright. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Yeah, she's quite pretty. Uh, I would probably kill Casper Lee. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably Just... kill Comedy Shorts Gamer, he's annoying as fuck. I mean, his videos are funny, but his laugh it's pisses funny. me off. <laughs> I, don't know, I just don't like Casper Lee's voice, his accent. It'd be too hard to understand. I think it's just prop. It, I think his <laughs> voice is just like soothing as fuck. It's just like, hello, oh, my name's Casper Lee. Hello, my name's Casper Lee. From South Africa. Um, yeah. yeah, so I'll probably get. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna marry Grace, kill Deji, and fuck Casper Lee. Okay. I would kill Casper, I would fuck Deji, and I would marry Grace. I think I'd marry Grace. Josh? Yeah. Um, I agree, Grace. Grace help it. she's just sad. That, that means I'd have to fuck Casper Lee and just like... Kill just Tommy Shorts yeah. Gamer. I would definitely kill yeah. Tommy Shorts Gamer though, because he's a good man. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to, but if we had to choose, then yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you could have him as a mate. Every now and again. Oh, this this one's gonna be a bit difficult. The next three: <laughs> Jinx, <laughs> so, um, so um, so Flo Antonio, oh. or Nicole Arbor. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. I'd probably have to marry Nicole Arbor. <laughs> yeah. I just I just put together the three most hated YouTubers I could think. But then of. the difference is like I I haven't heard of um, So Flo Antonio until today. But then yeah, <laughs> from his videos, I'm I'm kind of. I'm, I'd probably have to Jigsaw. kill Sofo Antonio, and then I would Jinx. kill Sofo Antonio in a, I, w I would kill him in a yeah, well, uh, yeah, because because Jinx has more like stuff going for him than just videos, so yeah, yeah, I'll probably at least, at least Jinx is yeah, getting better. Marry Nicole, um, kill Antonio, and marry Jinx. No, I would no mar marry Nicole, uh, fuck Jinx. Yeah, I would kill Sofo Antonio. I would. Fuck the call over and I've married Jinx. Because, you know, at least he's getting better. And you could actually help him get better. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You sound like one of them women at bars. I could totally <laughs> fix him. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking, a guy walks in with fucking. No, a homeless man would walk him. in. And this, and Lewis would stand there like, oh my god, I could totally fix him. <laughs> Yeah, ends up 20 years later. Both yeah. of them are homeless. She... Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're getting off of the one oh. hour mark soon. We're getting off of the one hour mark? Yeah. If I found a way to be happy every day If you could just see my face